7 months good hairline regrowth with PIX, finasteride, drinking minoxidil, MK677. I started drinking liquid minoxidil daily since I was a non-responder to topical and I couldn't get my hands on the pill. I read that your stomach would destroy most of the minoxidil so I decided I should take more than the recommended pill dose to actually get an effect. I had no idea how much though so I started at 10 mg and went up to 50 mg where I am now with no side effects. Now with no side effects. Also I tried to take 100 mg, 50 mg morning and night, but my feet and face started swelling a lot. Now with no side effects. WTF dude? Drinking minoxidil? Lamau yeah it sounds crazy at first but minoxidil itself works orally and the other ingredients in the liquid are safe to drink so there is nothing wrong with it really. Just don't try eating the foam lol. Complete guide to orally taking topical minoxidil. No, this is stupid bullshit. You can damage your heart. The guy I know asked top dermatologist in Poland, Professor Lydia Rudnicka, is it safe to ingest topical minoxidil? There are two main concerns. One. Amount of minoxidil isn't equally distributed in liquid. So even you're thinking that you measured your safe amount of 1 mg of minoxidil, it could be even 3 mg. 2. There is a huge difference between ingesting liquid and taking pill. Liquid is closer to injection. Pill will slowly dissolve and will be metabolized in longer time. To sum up, when you ingest topical minoxidil, your body receive big amount of minoxidil at once. This medication is something not to fuck around. I made this post because people are doing this anyway, so they might as well do it in the safest way possible. It's like the war on drugs. I tell everyone to do one drop once per day. There no way that one drop is going to contain a super high amount of minox, even if it's 3 milligrams, that is not much considering many people are press a bed 5 milligrams. I understand your concern. As a medicinal chemist do not do this. Just because something has safe ingredients does not mean you can just do what you like. Firstly there is a clear reason why oral minoxidil is much harder to come by and why you need to see a doctor. There are many more side effects, drug interactions, and things patients should be informed of before taking it orally and a doctor is required to advise and monitor the effects. This drug affects the heart and should not be taken lightly. Secondly, drug composition is imperative to drug design. If you could just take it orally in some water then you probably would be prescribed that. It's taken in tablet form that contains the inactive ingredients anhydrous lactose, docusate sodium, magnesium stearate, microcrystalline cellulose, sodium benzoate and sodium starch glycolate. These are used to stabilize the minoxidil to stop it just being broken down in your stomach and to make sure the drug is released slowly, which again minimizes side effects. Even with all these additives it still had side effects. I will be reporting this post for providing incorrect medical advice. Do. Not. Play. With. Medicine. You have to understand that this is becoming popular, and that people are going to do this anyway. I've gotten a million questions about how many milliliter do I take. A milliliter is 50 milligrams. They have to know not to take an entire milliliter. This post is for harm reduction purposes, as people do not know what they're doing. You are doing the same thing as fighting the war on drugs from the cops side. People are going to do it anyway. Reporting slash deleting this guide does not help or aid in making people not do it. No, but if you're going to do something medically irresponsible you should under no circumstances be telling people it's safe. It is not safe and you should make that clear and is very risky. From working in medicinal synthesis these drugs can be applied topically and can be very impure as long as the supplier shows the impurities have no topical effects what you're putting in your mouth however is a very different story. This drug already very reactive from looking and the structure and if it has other impurities who knows of the effects it can have on organs slash making possible mutagens. This is not safe. Even buying the pills from an online supplier without a prescription also not recommended, is better than this. This post encourages people to try it and what you've written is incorrect and harmful. Why is it a bad idea to drink liquid minoxidil? Well, let's just say it's not exactly a refreshing beverage. In fact, it's more like a poison cocktail that can give you low blood pressure, dizziness, and a racing heart. And if you're really unlucky, it might even put you into a coma or six feet under. So basically, just don't do it. Stick to the recommended topical application and leave drinking to more enjoyable liquids like beer or or water. Water's a better choice, right? Or better yet, just ask a healthcare professional for guidance when it comes to 
oral minoxidil. One of the main points consists with how the drug is delivered, and from some of the posts and some of the research that I've done, controlled release formulations are designed to release the drug, drugs like minoxidil, oral minoxidil, at a slow and steady rate over an extended period of time. Now, these controlled release formulations can come in forms of tablets and capsules. And by using controlled release formulations, you ensure that there is a mitigation in side effects. Even with this type of mitigation in side effects, there are still people getting symptoms from using oral minoxidil. So using liquid minoxidil where you can't ensure that each milliliter that you drain with your pipette actually has a certain amount of milligrams of minoxidil, you really have to be careful and you really have to acknowledge that maybe it's better to not even engage in that type of self-experimentation because the risks over time especially will outweigh the reward.